Hello folks, so in this video I'm going to go through how to code Flappy Bird in Pygame. It's actually not that difficult to code, it, it took less than 250 lines, so I'll, I'll do a quick demo of it. Uh, you can see it's pretty much like the original game and just as difficult. So I've got the scrolling uh, background working and the pipes and I am just terrible at this. And uh, of course I've got a score counter at the top. So record right now is one and I think I'll leave it there. So uh, I'll just jump straight into how to code it. So first of all, you want to start off with by importing your modules. So the ones you're gonna need for this are Pygame uh, and then there's additional modules. So you just say from Pygame locals, import star. With that done, you can now initialize Pygame. Next thing to do is to create the game window. So for the game window, I define a couple of variables. My width, uh, which I will set to 864, and my height, which I will set to 936. So these are a little bit strange, but it's just the size of my uh, the sprites that I've used for this. So with these defined, I can now create my game window. And the game window would be set to a variable called screen. So this is created using pygame.display.set_mode. And into this function, you put in the screen width and the screen height variables that I just defined. So from these two, it will create a blank game window. Uh, what I'd like to also add to this is a caption so that instead of just saying uh, pygame or untitled window, it actually says something. So I will say pygame.display.set underscore caption, and in here I'll put flappy bird. So now my window will have a little title. Okay, so next thing is to create the game loop. So this just starts off with an initial uh, condition that I set to true, and then I use a while loop for the main game loop. So I'll just say while run, which means while run is true, just carry out whatever goes below here. So this essentially is just gonna be a continuous loop until something happens to change it. Uh, so that means that if I was to run this right now, it would freeze. Like, I wouldn't have any way of exiting the game. So even if I click the X button in the top right, it would close the window. So that's something that I need to add in here first. And that's done with Pygame's event handlers. So I simply iterate through the events by saying for event in pygame.event.get. So this will get all the events that are happening. And then I look for a particular one. So I'll just say if event type is equal to pygame.quit, which is clicking the X button in the top right, then you remember this run variable I just set that to false. So with that set to false, this while loop no longer meets the required condition and it's going to stop running. And when that loop ends, I can just say pygame.quit. So let's run this code to see what happens. There you go, I've got my game window, it says Flappy Bird, and that's it. If I click up here, I can close the window. What I'd like to do next is add a background image to that window. And that again is quite easy. So first of all, before my game loop, I will have a section where I will load in my images. So I'll just add a comment to separate that out and I'll say load images. So my background image is going to be stored in a BG variable and to load images we use pygame.image.load and in here I'll put in first of all the path which is image where the folder I've saved all my sprites into and then the actual file name background bg.png. So with that loaded I can now put that picture onto the screen. So in Pygame, to show any images onto the screen, you would use the blit function. So first of all, you choose the game window that you want to put the image onto. And if you remember, screen is the game window that I've initialized right at the beginning. So I just say screen.blit, and then I choose what I want to put onto the image. So that's going to be my background, and then the coordinates where I want to put them in. Well, I want it to be right at the start point. So top left corner is where my image is going to be drawn from. So if I was to run this now, and I will just to show you, nothing actually happens. I've loaded an image and I've passed a function to show it onto the screen, but nothing is happening. So the reason for that is you would need to add another function at the end here somewhere. So this, within the while loop of my main game loop, I'm going to be having various changes to the background. I'll be adding the bird and the pipes and all that kind of stuff. But none of it actually gets updated without this one additional function. Uh, and that function is pygame.display.update. So that updates everything that has happened uh, above it. So if I run this again, 
you can see I've now got the background. So you'll notice there is a little area here which is completely blank. Uh, that is where my uh, ground is going to go, my scrolling ground. And that's what I'm going to add in next. So that's going to be added in kind of in the same way. I'll come back up here where I've loaded my images and I will add a second variable. This will be ground image. And I'll say pygame.image.load. And this time it's the same uh, the same directory and the image name is ground.png. Okay, so now that's loaded, I can do the same thing. I can just blit it right at the at the bottom underneath uh, underneath my background, but I do want it to be scrolling. So for the time being, I'll just show it as is. Uh, I'll add a couple of comments actually just to explain what's going on. I'll add a comment here saying draw background. And then I'll add another comment down here, which will say draw and scroll the ground. So for now, I will just show it onto the screen just so I've got something there. So again, I'll use the blit function. This time the image is my ground image. And now the X and the Y coordinates are, well, the first one will be zero. It starts on the left-hand side. The Y coordinate is going to be the height of my, uh, of my background, which I already know. Uh, so I'll put seven, six, eight in here. So let's try this now. And there you go. I've got this background and I've got this uh, ground underneath it, but it's not moving. So to make this image move, essentially what I need to be doing is adjusting this X coordinate where that image is drawn. So that's how it's going to be moving across the screen. So when it starts off, the X coordinate is zero, uh, but for it to move to the right, for example, that X coordinate would just have to keep increasing. For it to move to the left, it would have to keep decreasing. So to be able to adjust this within the game loop, I just need to add in an extra variable. And this variable is going to be ground scroll. So I'm going to replace that zero with ground scroll. And before I can use this, I have to first of all define it. So I'll come up here where I've got an empty space and I'll say define game variables. So I will keep all of the game variables that I need and I'm going to add to this list as I go. So first of all, uh, what did I call it? Ground scroll. Uh, this is just going to start off at zero. And what I would also need is some kind of speed. I need to control how quickly this ground is going to be scrolling to the left. So I will define another variable which will be, oops, not screen, it'll be scroll speed. And I'll just set this to four, meaning four pixels. So every iteration, I want that to move by four pixels. So let's just add that in uh, just to see what it looks like. So I will just say ground scroll, just decrease ground scroll by the scroll speed. So notice ground scroll is going to start off at zero, which is it's the same uh, X value that I had in here before I replaced this. So it will start off right at the beginning on the left hand side of the window, and then it's just going to quickly move over to the left. There is another thing that I haven't defined yet. Uh, I'm just going to run the code first to show you so I can fix it after. So you can see it goes to the left pretty quickly. So the reason for that is that there is no frame rate set. So at the moment, this is just running the code as quickly as it possibly can. So I need to lock the frame rate to something uh, reasonable that's going to ensure that the rest of the game runs at the same rate. So for that, we use a timer. So I'll just come back up here uh, where I've got my initialization and I'll define a couple more variables. So the first one is I need to add a clock. And uh, this is done with the function pygame.time.clock. And then I'll define what my frame rate is going to be. So I want this fixed at a frame rate of 60 frames per second. So now all I need to do is come back into my while loop and rather than just running as quickly as I can, I can fix it to that speed. So I can use that clock that I've just created and I'll tell it to tick at a frame rate of FPS. So this is going to take that variable I've just defined and it's going to fix it to 60 frames per second. So let's run the code again. You can see it's scrolling a lot smoother, uh, a bit slower, so you can actually see what's happening. Now, you notice essentially it's just, it just kept going until it disappeared off the screen. So that's kind of the mechanic of doing anything that's scrolling. If you just have that image on its own, well, now it's just gone and it just keeps going and going. So to add a scrolling background, you need to, or in my case, it's not really a background. The background stays where it is, but the ground scrolls across. So once it's scrolled a certain amount, I need to have something behind it. So essentially I reset the position. Now I'm going to cancel out the scroll for a second. So I'll just comment this out and run the code again. So you see, uh, oops, no, I have to define it. I just have to set it to zero. And if I run it again, so nothing's moving, everything's fine in its place. Now, this is quite a simple pattern, right? You can see that 
there's these uh, little cross hatchings that, that appear at certain intervals. So if I know what the distance is between them, then essentially what I can do is just extend the length or the width of this image to the right hand side to make sure that I've got a couple more of these spare. And that is exactly what I've done. So although you can't see it in that game window because it cuts it off, my uh, ground sprite is actually wider than the background. So if I make this width bigger just to demonstrate, you can see it actually overhangs a little bit. And I basically have one spare uh, hatch over here. So what I'm going to do to give the impression of a scrolling background is I will have that scroll speed, but then I will set a limit. So once this background or this entire ground has moved to the left by the width of this hatch, then I just want it to reset to this exact same position. So it's going to look like a scrolling, but actually it's going to move to the left until this hatch has taken the place of this one, and then it's instantly going to pop back to its starting position. So let's add that in and see what it looks like. At the moment I have ground scroll minus the scroll speed. So I'll come back and set this to four again. Now I know how wide, uh, how wide that part is. The, the width of each of those little uh, sections was about 35 pixels. So I can just say if that scroll speed or oh, sorry, if that ground scroll, which is continuously being decreased by four pixels, if that exceeds the value uh, of those pixels, then I just reset the position. So remember, this is going to be uh, a negative value. So I set this to an absolute to give me a positive. And I say if ground scroll has exceeded 35 pixels, which means that it's past that, uh, that one hatching, then I just reset it. So I just set ground scroll back to zero. So let's run this code again. And look, you can see it's it's scrolling, but now because I've shown, uh, I've kind of unhidden this area on the right-hand side, you can actually see what's going on. It moves the picture to the left very quickly, and then as soon as that hatching has gone over, it just redraws the picture back in its original place. So it gives you the impression that everything's scrolling along. And actually, if I slow this down with my frame rate, say to, that might be too slow. No, there you go, you can see it. So it, it looks like it's creating a new hatching, but all it's doing is just popping this image back over to the right as soon as it's reached this point. So that's a very easy and quick way of creating this uh, this impression of a scrolling background. So let me just fix this, uh, this width back again. And now you can't even tell what's going on. So it just looks like it's continuously, uh, endlessly scrolling. So that's starting to look quite good. Uh, the next thing now is to start adding in the bird and generating some of these pipes and then looking how to do collision. So uh, I'm not going to go into all that just now. I'll save that for, for uh, future videos. Uh, if you found this video useful, then please do leave a like. And if you'd like to stay up to date with these tutorials, then feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.